Hello everyone, today I'll be making a roach farm. Got my roaches here. And I got this random container from Target. You can get cheaper options, but I like the look of this container. A nice one and done. Got my lid with two holes that I'll fill out. And it came with this like little grate thing in the bottom, but we don't need that. I don't know what it's just for, honestly. Here's my container. But before that first, we're gonna put some, what's it called, some this on. Or some mesh on, sorry. Some mesh on so they can't climb out, or so nothing can get in as well. I'm gonna quickly put some tape on that, because I lost my other type of tape. Alrighty, finished my tape my lid. That was probably a more efficient way to do that, but I'm lazy and it works, so there you go. And now usually I would add cross ventilation onto this container, but I really like it and we just will deal with it. First, we're gonna put a barrier of Vaseline before I put the roaches in, because if not, I've heard they can escape. And so I have my gross Vaseline right here. And I'm going to quickly put a layer on both, on all the sides. Mmm, Vaseline. Alrighty, I've put a healthy amount of Vaseline on the container. So now, wait, actually, let's clean this up. And now, we will put the roaches in. I don't remember this, the name of the roaches I got, but I'll put these pieces of name right up here. These are our smaller species of roaches, which makes it perfect for my colonies. Oh, look at We're going to leave the floor bare with no oats, so that once they have a lot of uh, feces down there, It'll be, it can be, it'll be dry and it doesn't mold. We don't want that. Mold is like bad, it makes it smell. A little bit of oats is fine. Look at those roaches. You can see the barrier is already working. Look at that. Just like if I had no barrier, well, that one would have already escaped. A closer look at some of those roaches. They're basically like about the size of crickets, or well, the adults are. I like these better than dubious, which I had before. That male really wants to escape. They're kind of cute, honestly. And alrighty, now we're gonna grab a couple and the sacrifice to our ants. Alright, I executed a couple. Here's a colony I'm babysitting. Look at how hungry they are. Alright, watch this, watch this. This colony is like so aggressive. If I merely put this in, they'll attack it right, right, right away. Look at that. And yes, it is dead, it's just its reflexes moving. Alrighty, rest in peace of that roach. While they work on that roach, we'll go work, look at the other colony. Here is my Manica Bradley Eye colony. Doing quite well. I fed them like a bunch of proof flies recently. And now we're gonna give them their little roach. It'll take longer to get to that roach, but it should be fine in a little bit. And I'll film once they are done eating the roach, or once they're eating the roach. Alrighty, it's been about a day. The species of this colony, I'll leave right above. And as you can see, they basically ate the head off of the roach. And they're leaving it for future consumption. Look at those beautiful workers. This is a parasitic species, which is why you can see different colored workers. 
Look at that beautiful queen. The specific colony always has a ton of workers in their outworld. So basically, if I drop something in there, they'll immediately eat it. Beautiful workers. Wait, here's a whole look at their nest. Lots of brood. Lots of eggs. It demolished their roach. And they'll probably finish that in the upcoming days. This is the Manica Bradley colony. As you can see, they also destroyed the head of this one, but they're also working in the guts. This specific species likes to put their larvae on the food itself, and you can see that larvae right there eating. Look at that big lump of eggs. Anyways, literally like nothing left of its head. Lots of brood. What do you guys think? Is this species better than the Manica Nvidia? Let me know in the, down in the comments. There's their queen. And as you can see, yeah, lots of brood, and they murdered that roach. It'll probably be all gone in a couple of days. Yeah. Everyone, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.